Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome to another video. Doing something a little bit different today, um, no figures, but we're going to look at the art of Star Wars Rebels. Uh, this is the deluxe edition uh, by Dan Wallace, uh, published by Dark Horse Books. So uh, cool that Dark Horse are getting a, a little bit of uh, love in with uh, obviously losing the comic license back in 2015. Um, like I said, this is the deluxe version. It has the beautiful uh, light-up cover. You can sort of just see my uh, fingerprints there, sort of. <laughs> there we go, it's starting to fade away. Um, then it opens up. You get those blades lighting up. And that is really, really cool. Um, just the presentation of this book is incredible. Um, I will sit down momentarily uh, to have a look at the contents, but uh, yeah, just wanted to show you the cover. And uh, yeah, it's sort of the rest of it's a star field. And everything's inside. So we'll uh, we'll sit down and we'll take a look. All right, so now that I'm here sitting down, this should be a lot easier. Because <laughs> um, it is a pretty sizable box. Um, really hardy, looks great, like I said. Um, but we want to look inside. We want to see what this book's all about. So uh, first things first is with this version, uh, with the deluxe edition, you do get a couple of prints uh, that are prints that are taken straight out of our Dave Filoni sketchbook. So starting off, you get a bit there with uh, Ezra and Mole on Malachor from uh, season two, in the first episode, Twilight of the Apprentice. Still, arguably, uh, my favourite episodes from that particular from the whole series um, so that's pretty great he's just written some notes and then next is a bit of art of Ahsoka versus Vader which is really great too um, so that's a very nice little addition it comes in a nice nice little folder um, for the most part, that'll just stay in the box with the with the book. Um, we'll slide out the book. Now, this is basically exactly what you get with the regular version, except with the regular version, this image on the front is in full colour. Um, whereas here, they're sort of a muted sepia sort of colour. You can sort of see the colours on the characters, like you can see the orange on Ezra, Hera, Chopper, the greens, uh, purples. But uh, the cover of the regular version is a nice, vibrant, bright coloured uh, version of this. And then on the back, we have the little Tuka Cat, which is adorable. So it's uh, it's really nice. Uh, 208 pages. We look at the spine there, there's the Dark Horse Books logo. The Art of Star Wars Rebels. Um, so it's all laid out. What the, what the way they've done this is they've laid it out by season. So you start off uh, this beautiful... There's just so many amazing colours and stuff with the Star Wars Rebels. Uh, Forward by Dave Filoni, which is which is really great. Uh, and like I mentioned, written by Dan Wallace. Uh, this book uh, was meant to come out quite a little little bit ago, maybe, maybe late last year. Um, but it has had some uh, delays for some reason, not sure why. But uh, it's worth the wait. It's 100% worth the wait. Um, so yeah, there's... It's, it's, Forward, uh, there's a little bit on uh, early development of the show, so bringing together the ideas of what Star Wars Rebels was going to be. Um, and then, yeah, basically goes through concept art for uh, each season. So, four seasons in each. So, it starts off with Season 1, Spark of Rebellion. Now, I'm not going to show you every page, because um, this will be here for a long time, but I just wanted to give you a basic sort of layout of how it's all set up. So there's a page there on Hera Syndulla. Some of the early ideas for what she'd look like, which is really interesting. But it's something that uh, Rebels did really well was just, they used color really, really well. Um, again, we got Sabine and Zeb, the original um, Macquarie concept art there for that inspired Zeb. Um, it, said, say, it does say here, uh, Killian Plunkett. Uh, one of the uh, writers and people who worked on Star Wars Rebels um, he said for a long time he was a blue Snivian um, which are snaggletooth aliens uh, he said a final Zeb is a cross between Macquarie's original concept for Chewbacca and Dave Filoni's cat um, 
I'm, I'm sad that they didn't have a picture of Dave Filoni's cat in the book because that would have been cool. Um, it sort of goes through, we've got, you know, the early stages of the Imperial Inquisitor. Other characters. Um, I was pointed out that they did miss a couple of characters in uh, As Morrigan. And there was another character I can't remember. Uh, but As Morrigan was that sort of pink, pinky guy that was based on sort of concept after Jabba the Hutt. Um, but then they have like... Pictures of streetscapes and and stuff for Lothal. Um, if I flick through again, there's some concept art there for uh, the prison on Stygian Prime, where they go to try and find uh, Luminara Unduli, only to find out that it's a trick. Um, there's the ghost and some different colour ideas for the ghost, which is cool um, to see what it could have been. I think it always very much had this look, but um, going to season two, the future of the Force. Vader there, that looks great. Yeah, just some great imagery. Captain Rex, yes. I love Captain Rex. Um, yeah, just going through. Um, where is it? I should have, I really should have bookmarked these pages, but nevertheless, we'll just keep flicking through. Um, season three, Fate of the Alliance. Uh, this sort of gets into, you know, Ezra's upgrade to his model, what he looks like. A little bit older, short hair. Some different ideas. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Also really great. Uh, we get into Moth Mon Mothma, Darth Maul. Some really great stuff in here, guys. Um, they sort of get to the end. Uh, you get a lot of this. Um, you know, one good thing about Rebels was the, like, the Imperial propaganda that sort of popped up around the place, uh, particularly on this, like the streets of Lothal. Um, so we get a bit of that there. I know there is a book called Star Wars Propaganda, which probably has a lot of this stuff in it. Um, then you get some of Sabine's graffiti and paintwork. Um, <laughs> I didn't even realise that was Lando down the bottom, but it is. Uh, yeah, there's lots of goes into ships. Um, a lot of Mandos, uh, Fen Rao, and Gar Saxon's brother, Tiber Saxon. Um, but yeah, it sort of goes right through to season, the end of uh, season four. We've got Rebel Commander Rex, which is damn cool. Um, this one is really interesting. Now, he was only mentioned by name, but Director Krennic, they actually uh, did design did design him with a uh, possible intention to bring him into the show, but decided to to leave leave that aside. But it's okay, we knew a bit about the sort of rivalry between Thrawn and Krennic, um, and that has expanded in some of the lore as well. Emperor Palpatine, how he uh, portrays himself to Ezra, and then the real Palpatine slash Sidious there. So yeah, you sort of get to the end, and then it's got some different environments and um, you know different bits and pieces. It's really worth checking out, guys. I, I definitely recommend this book. Um, yeah, that's, that was the sleeve on the back. I uh, I picked this up from Amazon, um, and it actually came in really good condition. It actually it came in a separate box, so it came in this box, and then it was packed into like a shipping case, and then it was packed into an Amazon box as well. So it was very well protected, came in absolutely pristine order. Um, but there are other places you can buy it, obviously. But uh, anyway, just wanted to share that quickly. Um, I'm not sure how this video ended up running, but yep, uh, I haven't. I've done one book review in the past, so this is something I want to do a little bit more of. Um, being that I am almost as much of a book collector as I am a figure collector, so um, books are something I treasure a lot. Um, and this is this is one I really wanted to share, so I definitely recommend it. So uh, thanks for checking it out, guys. Until next next time, may the force be with you.